Once considered niche, vintage and pre-loved boutiques are now really, really mainstream and they offer fashion an afterlife, a chance to be worn and loved all over again. An early adopter of sustainability and the owner of this treasure trove of pre-loved and vintage, Teresa Kelleher, the owner of Goose Boutique, is my special guest this week on Sunday Girl. Teresa, wow, I've been coming here for a couple of years now, browsing through the rails. I think I've never left here without actually buying something. Thank you very much. <laughs> Including You're... today, I walked in the door and saw the sea by. Well, this... we love having you. Well, I adore coming here. I adore the originality. I adore the whole vibe of the store. I adore chatting to you because you know so much about the business that you're in. So tell everyone a little bit about how Goose Boutique came to be. Well, I always had an interest in fashion. Absolutely loved it. Um, my children stayed at home for about seven years with my children. They had left home or going to leave home in the next year or so. And I said, well, what am I going to do? What I would love to have my own business. I've always thought about it. I always had it in the back of my mind for years and years. But eventually I said, right, this is the time to do it. And I decided I'd just go for it. Um, I noticed that there was a lot of fast fashion, cheap fabrics, which are predominantly plastic, which are killing our home, which is the planet. So I said, I think there's a gap in the market for good quality, pre-loved, new with tags, but all at pre-loved prices, um, predominantly natural fabrics, wool and cotton. And I said, you know what? I'll just go for it. And tell me, how many years ago was this? This was about mm, three to four years ago, but I had been thinking about it for a long time. Okay. I was thinking okay. about it for a long time. And it, it was, when you opened here, it was actually a big risk because at the moment, we all are way more familiar with the whole concept of pre-loved and vintage. But when you opened, you were really kind of a very much, as I said earlier, an early adopter because it wasn't as well known at the time. And what we used to shop in <coughs> would have been charity shops, you know, if we wanted to buy something that was pre-loved. But there wouldn't have been the same selection and it wouldn't have been curated as well or would have had all of these luxury labels. So was that a brave move? Were you frightened or did you just think that's it? I'm just gonna, I I'm gonna go for this. I was so frightened and I opened up here and I just put an open sign on the door and I went, what have I done? What am I doing? Is this going to work? So I said, take a deep breath. You've always wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. I know you're taking a risk, but why not? And I would all encourage anybody who wants to start their own business or try something else or change a job just to go for it. Yeah. If, it if it doesn't work out. So, so what? So what? Yeah. So, and you know something, exactly what you've said there, and I remember this was very much when we were growing up, is that we would look at the American culture and they kind of opened businesses, closed business, and failure was seen as success because you had tried, you had been brave, you had tried. We're here, I mean, until quite recently, if you opened a business and has failed, failure was seen as failure, yes. you know? So yes. I think exactly what you've said there, it really is about being brave, looking at the market, and then following your dreams and being passionate about what you do. And all of that, shows right here as well in that you know it's such it's a, there's such emotion here and there's such a treasure trove yes and um i made mistakes mm -hmm. and i learned from them and i didn't do them again okay and it, it's the best learning curve and tell me where do you find everything that's here well i'm very lucky because I have some amazing stylish women in this county and in Ireland send me their things and I can okay. sign for, for people. Okay. I also travel to Paris. Okay, um, so you then go and you shop the vintage markets absolutely. in Paris? Yes, I do. And I've gone to Germany. I've gone as far as Tokyo. Um, but Paris is my favourite. Yeah, it's all our favourites. Um, <laughs> it's my favourite. Well, the vintage so markets there it. by Montmartre and around La Marais, oh, they're amazing, fabulous, amazing. yeah, and they are. beautiful fabrics. Yeah, I know. Beautiful cut, beautiful yeah. colours, yeah. French. Yeah, but also, the French have been 
reselling their clothes mm -hmm. for perhaps, I mean, from about the last hundred years. Because I know when I first started going to Paris, I mean, about 30 years ago, we used to do the vintage shops and you'd see like Dior shoes there at a reasonable price. Now they were battered, <laughs> but you know, but they were Dior. But they were Dior. So you would love, you love to buy them. And the whole idea is you're giving something that was much loved an afterlife and a second home and a third also home. as well, they bought well. Mm -hmm. They bought wonderful fabrics, mm -hmm. beautiful wool, mm -hmm. beautiful tweeds, and mm -hmm. they last. You take care of them and mm -hmm. they last. Mm -hmm. I do some high street here because not everybody can afford Dolce Gabbana. Mm -hmm. And if somebody wants to buy a little Zara piece or a French Connection piece, fine. It's mm -hmm. We're keeping it out of the landfill. Mm -hmm. We're giving it a second oh, absolutely. Life. I, I think that's wonderful. And I see a lot here of new with tags. Mm -hmm. of, as you said, again, Zara and other stories, you know, Duns, all of that kind of thing. And that's great. Somebody mm -hmm. got it as a present or bought it for themselves. Mm -hmm. We all impulse buy. Yes. Decided they didn't want it. And instead of chucking it out, they can bring it in here, get a few bob for it, and somebody else gives it a new home. And it's, yeah. it stops them from going online and buying another piece. Exactly. Yeah. And and that is all good for our home, and our home is the planet. And doesn't pre-loved and vintage really add originality to your wardrobe? It does. Yeah. And what about high low? Wear a little a little Dolce Gabbana piece, and wear a little Zara piece, uh -huh. and uh -huh. um, you know mix them up. Mix them up. And we're going to be looking just when we're talking at some of the gorgeous pieces that you have in here at the moment. Okay. And if somebody wants to buy something uh -huh. from you, how do they do that? Well, you pop in, okay. you try on, and also we you can give us a ring mm -hmm. and we can send it to you. And also as well, if our very high in pieces can be a little expensive, but that's okay. We can You can pay away every week or every Oh, month. great. So if you see yes. something like a beautiful Dior bag, for mm -hmm. instance, you can actually put a little bit of money towards that every single week. Give a little deposit. It's a great idea. That yeah. You decide what deposit suits you mm -hmm. and you um, tip away at your ease. That's a brilliant and then idea. Be yours in a matter of time. There's no time limit. So you ship obviously anywhere in the world. Because I know you have an active Instagram account as well, yes. and you have some exciting news. I am working on a website because I'm going into the e-commerce. It's the way of the world. I have mm -hmm. to, and because I have a lot of customers around the country. Well, I know that'll be most welcome because I know friends of mine have seen you. You've appeared on RT today the odd time and they've seen you through Instagram mm. and they're like, Orla, but how do, how do I get to this place? Yes. How do I shop this place? So they're not all in the position to Come roll to down to carry all the time. So now they will be in the coming yes, time. Yes, we are working. Well, I have to. Uh -huh. I have to get with the modern world. <laughs> and I, it's all learning again, like going back to learning something new. Uh -huh. Probably will make mistakes doing this, but I'm going to learn from it. Um, and I am a little nervous about it, but it'll be This keeps catching my eye as we're <laughs> chatting away. Tell me a little bit about the ring. Uh, it's a little Dior piece, pre-loved. And I bought it oh, a long time ago, years and years ago. Came with its original box and everything. Oh, I just break it out every now and then just it's, for a little bit of sparkle. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank and again, you. you know, the luxury market to many of us mm -hmm. is, is it's not affordable for us to, to mm -hmm. shop at as mere mortals. Yes. But yet pre-loved gives us that opportunity to own, you know, a Dior ring or to own a beautiful, you know, Gucci bag. So it's 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 kind of bringing fashion. It's making fashion more inclusive. And that it's bringing it to everyone. Absolutely, I can. I know where you're coming from. It can, of course, be very expensive. So why not? This is a way into it. Mm -hmm. right? At probably exactly. half the price here, or even less than half the price. Um, the only thing about buying your high end and your quality, you do have it for generations. You have it forever and forever. Um, uh, and again, I think luxury now is really holding its value. Uh, uh, yes, you know, it's actually going up. In it's value. actually, yeah, uh, because if you yes. buy a particular luxury item now mm -hmm. and you go to sell it in a year's time, mm -hmm. depending on if that's a really covet for Pete, you could actually get more money for it yeah. than what you originally yes. paid for it, but you will certainly get back what you paid for it. It's, yes. holding, its, mm -hmm. it's holding its value, where if when you buy more high street, it doesn't hold its mm -hmm. value in the same way. Well, one of the first special pieces for me I sold was a Chanel handbag that had been passed down from a grandmother to okay. a daughter. Oh my goodness. Uh, so not only Chanel, but vintage Chanel. Vintage Chanel. Oh my gosh, so desirable. And the fact yeah. they trusted me with this heirloom. Yeah. And I was, it was one of my first memories 
and my personnel to sell. But again, that was three generations had loved that bag. Yeah. And now somebody else was loving it. And now somebody word. else loves I it. I remember packing it up and posting it. So, but that bag, I yes, it was expensive originally, but cost per wear over three generations. And the happiness. I know that at Christmas I bought my daughter a bag from you. And I know I wandered around this shop here for quite some time. <laughs> thought about it, didn't think about it, thought about it, didn't think about it. I, I should have sent you a video of her on Christmas morning because when she opened that box, her eyes just, I mean, she was so happy. I don't think in all the gifts I've given her over the years, I think she was ever that happy. And she almost rearranged her entire wardrobe so she could no, wear she, this particular bag oh and no. it's petite and it's gorgeous. But it's going to stay with her well, for the rest of her life. Your granddaughter will be wearing this bag. Hopefully, yeah. No pressure to have kids quite yet, by the way, Zoe. <laughs> I'm telling you. Your granddaughter will be wearing exactly. this. Exactly, yeah. And, because you have, and you're also going to have a story. I know, yeah, and it's so beautifully your made. Your grandmother bought this bag for you um, when we were in the middle of a, this horrible COVID. I know. There will be a story, and I that's love right, the, that's the right. stories the that story. me that comes with the items. Is, is, it's incredible. The I should story. write them all down. Yeah, the stories behind the clothes. Yeah, and it's so true. Story, huh? I do. I thank you from you. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, thank you for sharing your story. Listen, as I said at the beginning, this is a treasure trove. I would encourage everyone to visit or to follow her online and look out for the website that is soon to come. You're an amazing woman. Aww. I love coming in here. You Thank make me you. so happy. <laughs> Thank you for being my guest on this week's Sunday Girl. And both of us wish you an amazing and stylish week.